Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to FormanCon. So the first session is going to be about the new host page, the new host detail page that we are developing over the last year. And so today I would like to show, I would like to start with uh, some uh, general information about this journey. Uh, after that, we will see a deep dive over this page with core and some plugins. If you have any questions during the session, um, you can ping me. And um, this is my um, nickname in IRC. You can ping me and I will try to answer your questions at the end of the session. So we have a few minutes after the session to answer questions. If you watch this offline, you can still ping me in the IRC or ping me in my private email. So let's start. So what is this new host page? So let's start with, you know, with the beginning. Host is a fundamental resource of Foreman. Um, and redesigning it, re-implementing it in another technology is a challenge because it's, you know, it's really fundamental resource of Foreman. The major goal. Yeah. Okay. And stop me if you see any encounter any issues. Okay. So um, we gather together lots of information and functionality from plugins. Uh, I discussed about the details, power operations, or status management, recent jobs, recent audit to give you some overview, and of course, um, pl a plugin, a content that arrived from plugins like Ansible, Catello, and more. Uh, of course, you will see in you know shortly a deep dive of, of all of these functionality. A new UI better experience, it sounds, you know, like a buzzword, but in this case, it was really the case. Uh, the page was designed by UX experts, it's fully written in React. Now React is uh, the leader of uh, front-end uh, libraries with the biggest uh, community over uh, front-end packages. I think we chose wisely when we switched to React a few years ago. We have some pages already written in React, but this is the first page that is, you know, complex enough and needs some extendability from plugins. We had the audits page and the hardware model page, but this is the first page that actually needs much more complex environment and infrastructure. This is the first page from core perspective that 100% uses Patternfly 4. A Patternfly, just to be at the same page, is a, an opinionated way to design your components, your um, application. It gives you components, React components, and also guidance how to design your application. And, you know, giving a better experience user is crucial, but we also wanted to give better experience to um, developers. So the page should be modular, should be ex expandable, so plugins can consume it and can add more content to it. And of course, all of this effort was um, transparent to the community. And we, start, we started this effort uh, last year with some surveys. Um, we asked users how they use the, the old page, the old host page, what they miss from that page, what they don't use. And we also gather uh, some feedback. The page, the host, the new host page was um, in Foreman 3.0 and even before as experimental feature. So we wanted to get some feedback from users. We got some feedback, uh, especially in version um, in Foreman 3.0. And we're already fixing you know, issues that we have found from the community. We also submitted some RFCs, especially in the dev community, of course, related to how to extend it from plugins and what the more convenient way to do that. And of course, we shared uh, demos over our community demos constantly to share the progress of this page. Uh, last but not least, twice a month, we have a UI UX interest group meeting open to the community and lots of discussions have started there. As I mentioned before, we have some plugins content. So even in Foreman 3.1, you will see content from Ansible, Catello, Remote Execution, and more content is currently developed in Reddit Cloud OpenSK. Uh, so stay, stay tuned. Um, if you upgrade Foreman, if you use Foreman 3.1, just make sure you update, update, update also the plugins as well. 
Uh, and we didn't forget the developers and developers community. Um, tomorrow is going to be a session, especially for developers. It's going to be more like a workshop. Um, so some React knowledge, um, basic React knowledge um, is recommended um, for tomorrow's workshop. Um, you are more than welcome to join tomorrow. Today, I'm going to be focusing on the user perspective, but tomorrow we will discuss how to extend it from plugins. So if you have a plugin or just interesting how to add content to this page, you are mo more than welcome to tomorrow's session. What about the future? So, um, of course, in the future, um, you know, th th this page is one, just one step. Um, but we can embrace React Power. We can reuse lots of content in other pages, um, like the tabs, like the cards that you are going to see in you know shortly. Um, and we can embrace the React Power and reuse lots of this page content in other places, in other pages. And also, you know, in, in my vision, the host page we should be combined so we don't need to separate it between the host form and the host page uh, so we can combine it together uh, with uh, inline editing uh, provisioning wizard it's my it's of course my vision and without any feedback from you we can't make a better experience so uh, your feedback is really really important to make this journey much smoother Okay, so uh, without further ado, I think we can start with the demo. Uh, one second, let me share it. It's another, oh, here, here it is. Okay, so are you with me? Can you hear me? We can and we can see, all is good. Excellent. So as you can see, this is the new page. Um, before we dive into it, um, just be minded that this page is not coming by default in Form in 3.1. We still keep the old page, the host, the host uh, legacy page, just because we want to wanted to make this uh, transition smoother. Maybe we forgot something in the new page. Maybe you need something from the old page. So that's why we keep the old page as well. So um, if you want to, you know, um, a update to the new page, you can do that with changing the settings so that this feature is no longer experimental. You don't need to activate the experimental lab in order to see this page. You just need to activate a setting. But if you just want to see a quick, you know, a, a sneak peek of this page, you can do it without any changing in your setting or your environment. So let's just uh, um, switch to the previous UI. So in the previous UI, you will see a new button called new UI and clicking on it leads us to the new UI, no matter if the setting is on or off. So you can just play with it before you actually decided if you want to change the setting to you know uh, to opt in the new the new page so how to opt in the new page um, you go to the settings under administrator and by the way sorry for the slowly slow my, my environment is a little bit slow because i'm using a, a development environment not a production one so uh, you can find a new setting let me do a little bit zoom in new host detail ui just make sure it's you know it's a uh, turn on and after that when you go to the host index page you can choose any host you want and um, it automatically leads us to the new page and you can see in the url that the differences between the new and the old page is just in the new page we have a new prefix on top of the URL. So no more experimental. Uh, you don't need to activate the experimental. Of course, this page is still going to be developed and feedback is needed, uh, but the experimental phase is over. Um, so let's create a, 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 you know, a host quickly. Let's go to the old host just to play with the new host.
let's call it a host new host demo. I'm going to keep it as bare metal just for some demonstration. No Ansible roles at the moment. And let's give a, a, just a MAC address. And a domain. Okay, so let's submit it. And as you can see, automatically I redirected to the new page because the setting is turned on. If the setting was turned off, I was redirected to the old page. So the new page is uh, has two sections: the header section, as you can see here, and the body you know, or the content, uh, which you can see down below. And uh, let's start with the header section. So uh, you can see at the top the breadcrumbs. So you can go back to the host list by clicking on the host. And um, we don't have a switcher, a breadcrumb switcher, because Butterfly 4 still doesn't support it. But um, in the future, we will definitely add a switcher here. And um, beneath it, we have the host title. We have the global status. As you can see, it's clickable, and we will discuss about that shortly. And tags, we have the operating system, the architecture. Beneath it, we have some timestamp and time in a time ago format when the host was created. Uh, if you over above it, you can see the, the actual timestamp uh, by whom and when it updated. Beneath it, we have the experimental banner, so you can switch back to the old UI or you can share your feedback. Clicking on sharing the, your feedback just uh, leads you to our discourse community and to a specific thread about this, uh, the, about this new feature. You can, of course, open a new thread or open an issue in our red minds. Um, you can, of course, you can um, close it if it's just annoying you. And uh, we have the edit button and we have the kebab dropdown for actions. These actions can arrive from core or from plugins as well. So let's uh, do a quick editing. Let's just add a comment. And again, because the setting is turned on, automatically after uh, editing, like after creating, I redirected to uh, the new page. And as you can see, um, the page is already updated after the edit. So nice, the, the, the new comment I was added is here already. Okay, so let's discuss about uh, some actions we have in the kebab dropdown. So you can build or cancel build. You can clone this host you can delete you can go to the console facts or reports and you can switch back to the legacy uh, or share your feedback uh, the same as in the banner in the in this banner and um, let's cancel the build um, and i want to rebuild this host after i click on the build uh, i can see a review before build model uh, this gives me just uh, some information before uh, uh, the build process, some general warning that the data is going to be deleted, like facts and reports related to this host, and of course, some errors that may prevent a successful build. So I can see that I have one error in my proxies, and I just don't have um, a smart proxy connected to this host. And by the way, you can see a weird symbol in my strings. Don't be panic. This just means that my strings are translated. This is just for development process. Okay, so let's uh, build this. And as you can see, the uh, host will be built in the next boot. Moving next to the clone this is the same as we had before clicking on it will uh, bring you to the form host form so you can clone this host just of course give it another name
Um, we will discuss about the, the other stuff later, but let's delete the source to just a new one. So after you click on delete, you will see a new confirmation model. So this confirmation model is new, not just for the host page, but you are going to see it in other pages and places in Foreman 3.1. Um, is another um, um, addition to the Foreman's new UI. So um, let's say uh, delete this host. After a successful deletion, I will be redirected to the host list page. Okay, let's uh, move on. Let's pick uh, a real host, which I would like to show you some real information. So this host uh, um, uses uh, EC2 from AWS. And um, so you can see that in the, we have cards layout. As you can see in this section, we have tabs. And um, so tabs arrive from plugins or from core. You can add your own content. And by the way, if I move to another tab, as you can see the address all um, changes as well. And um, also in the secondary tabs, the address changes as well. So you can go to a specific um, area um, even with you know your even with the path and the URL itself. Um, so let's discuss about the cards we have. So uh, the first card is the details card. Um, basically gives some you know basic information like IP addresses, MAC address. You can copy it to the you can copy it to the clipboard um easily it also we uh, you can find here the host group the host owner and the comments uh, on the top in the right side you can find the operations drop down and um, you can see what the status at the moment is which is on and um, if there is any error and um, you will see the error as uh, when you hover it and you will see um, the color will be um Grayish, so you will know that there is something you know uh, went wrong. So clicking on the uh, drop down, I can turn the host off, and the same we have the conf the new confirmation model. And um, let's just uh, turn off the machine. And by the way, you can see the new. Also, this is a new addition to the performance UI. We have new notifications. Um, pattern flight form notifications. So also a new addition, not just for this form, no story, not just to this page, but to other pages as well. Moving next to the host statuses. So let's move to another host with some uh, interesting statuses. Let's pick um, this one. Okay, so you can view the host statuses um, in the header or uh, in the overview tab. Um, in the header, if even if you're in another um, tab, you can click on the global status. You can see that the global status is uh, in error state. And then you can see the and manage the host statuses. Um, so you can see all of your um, foreman statuses that your form is supported so if you installed plugins that add some statuses you can see these statuses in your uh, in this uh, model and um, so uh, i can see that the configuration uh, ends with an error i can some statuses support uh, by um, um, adding a url to the status so i can click on the configuration and this is this leads me to the config report and I can see why um, I have that error. I have some issues with my puppet, I know. <laughs> so um, let's go back to the overview. So even in, also in the uh, overview tab, you can see it's uh, more in details, the host statuses. So we uh, split it up into a few categories, few states like the OK status, uh, warning, and error, so, and also not available. Not available means that the statuses are available in your foreman, but there are no statuses um, whatsoever. So 
um, I can click to see only error statuses and I also can clear it. So clearing a status, it means like forgetting a status like we already had in the previous page. So it will remove the status from the um, your foreman, but it won't delete it. So if the issue continu continues um, and in another refresh, another report, the issue continues, you will get the same issue and the same status. So let's clear it. Um, again, confirmation model. And as you can see, um, I don't have any errors now. And the global um, status became green. And also, all statuses are OK in the host statuses. OK, so let's move next to the recent audit. So here you just get some uh, general information about the recent audits for this host. Um, you know, what was the, the action, if it was an update, um, a time ago format. Uh, you can see the timestamp of this change, but you know, a time ago is an, a, a nicer way to read it. And by whom? Um, you can go to the all audits to see more information about this. Um, and exactly what was the change. As I mentioned before, plugins can add content to the overview. Um, so uh, in this case, we have the recent jobs card. So as you can see, we have uh, three sections in the recent jobs. We have finished, uh, running, and scheduled. So about the finish, you will see just the three, the last three finished jobs or the last three running, and et cetera. And you can see what the status is, a time ago format for the, for the timestamp. And you can also go to the, um, to the job itself to see why, why it ends with an error and for a deeper look. It uh, leads us to the job invocation page and then we can understand why it happens. Okay, um, moving next, we also have a, a kebab dropdown in the recent jobs. So this is for if you want to see more information. So you, if you want to see all jobs for this uh, host or just the finished jobs, running jobs and scheduled. And um, so let's go to the all jobs. And let's create a, a, a job for this host. By the way, as you can see, um, let's go back. And um, the host is filtered, so I can see only um, jobs related to this host that uh, was finished. OK, let's create a, a new job. Um, let's. Uh, pick this host and just something it will it won't work I know I just want to show you something and let's do it in one hour in front of us and a schedule job and let's submit it Okay, so if you, if we return to the the new host page, and we go to the schedule, and we will see that we have in almost one hour from now we have uh, this task. I think you know uh, thinking out loud. I think having a shortcut to creating a new job, it makes sense to add in the kebab dropdown instead to do this uh, entire, uh, it, it just, you know, in, you know a, a shortcut for creating a new job for this host. Okay, so uh, this uh, is about uh, the new features we have in the overview. And um, let's do a quick uh, run over some plugins content that available, will be available um, to Foreman 3.1. So in Ansible, um, we have a few, um, tabs, secondary tabs, and by the way, um, 
all this uh, infrastructure, if you're a plugin owner, this is of course uh, just a brief for tomorrow. You get for free uh, if it's about the tabs, it's, if it's about tar, uh, cards, or if you want to add more actions to this um, drop down. So in the Ansible, we have roles. Um, you can um, view all assigned roles. Um, you, we, we have variables. And with, with uh, pagination, you can edit um, a variable. And also, you can delete a variable. Also, the same confirmation model. Um, inventory, I think it doesn't work at the moment. We have some issues, but basically it's a JSON uh, formatter. So you can see the JSON object. And last but not least, jobs. Um, so you can see uh, the scheduled jobs for your Ansible. You can also create a new Ansible run uh, for, directly from this page. Okay, so uh, by the way, I want to show you the console. So let's go to... Um, another host just for that and let's pick the aws host so as i mentioned before clicking here um okay the host is off so let's turn it on as you can see the console was disabled and clicking on the console just uh, bring us to the old console page and um, this is ba uh, by basically the uh, a log because AWS doesn't support in a active console in Foreman. And I think I have some issues with my host because this is just generated less than a minute, but I don't see anything. But this wasn't um, redesigned. This is the same console page from previous version. Okay. So this is the new host. Um, you are more than welcome to start playing with it. Um, if you have anything that we missed, anything, any new suggestion, any thoughts about this page, this is the time um, to discuss about it. Um, if we forgot something from the old page, I know that with all the um, puppets uh, extraction effort, uh, we don't have Puppet in core at the moment, so we will add Puppet-related content in this page in the future, in the near future, so uh, stay tuned about Puppet. Um, but if we forgot something else about adding, you know, into this page, just uh, tell us, uh, share your feedback and your thoughts. Um, I think this is the time for questions, um, so if you have anything, you know, share me, uh, anything to ask me, you can ask me here or in the IRC, or even offline later. Thanks for uh, listening. Thank you, Amir. So are there any questions? I would ask a question. Uh, well, first of all, thanks, Amir. That looks really nice. I like the new page, how it looks. Um, you mentioned one thing, so the Puppet content should be uh, edit soon, but uh, can you share any other thoughts or something that uh, you expect this new page will get in the, in the near future? Yeah, so the Puppet uh, is an early stage of uh, redesigning. Uh, we want, you know, to make it uh, better. And of course, this effort is part of the community. I know we shared it with uh, um, developers from other um, um, with you know from Apex for example, so um, it's still in initial process. We still uh, redesigned it. I don't have anything to share now. Maybe I can find it later, and I can um, share it to the community. But the effort, uh, meanwhile, is still in initial process. One more question, I guess, if you say um, the Ansible content is. A already part of the host details page, you mean it's in the form and Ansible plugin and it uses some components brought by the new host details framework. Is that right? 
Um, so about the Ansible content, you will see it's in the next release that correlated with Form and 3.1. So in Form and 3.0, we don't. Uh, we, this is really experimental feature. So uh, even in Ansible, most of the content is experimental. In Form and 3.1, the correlated version in Ansible will add much more content. The same content I already shared, like the variables, like the roles uh, and, and jobs. And um, so I, I guess that you don't. You you are not using um, Form and 3.1 at, at the moment. But as soon as Ansible will, um, you know. Um, update its version to be correlated with Form 3.1. All the features you already seen in this session, you will going to see it uh, in your environment. And maybe one more thing. Um, you showed us basically that you go to the host edit form to uh, update the comment field. Is there any uh, plan to introduce maybe in place editing or making this part slightly easier uh, to do it from the from the page directly? Yeah, this is uh, really um, con we, we consider that of course as a future uh, feature um, to allow inline editing. I was discussed about that shortly. Uh, I would I was discussed about that you know uh, briefly before about you know what is the future what is you know the horizon in front of us and um, i totally believe that we can um, get rid of the form host of the edit host and we can combine it with the new host page and we can allow inline editing and we can you know combine these two pages to one like we did at the moment with catello content and host content so we the, the same uh, content basically in one place and I think doing the same with inline editing, with editing the host in one place, just you know, make the experience uh, smoother for users and easier. Um, so this is um, for sure something that we consider in the future. Okay, talk. Anyone else have any questions, comments? And by the way, I'm sorry that I didn't share anything about Catello. We have, I can, you know, just uh, um, share that we have some new content in the content and races. Um, so um, I just don't have um, data in my environment. Uh, as far as I remember, uh, we already shared some of the content of Catello in uh, um, the previous uh, community demo, and I believe you know uh, more will be shared in the future. And um, so stay tuned about Catello content. And um, Amir, in terms of uh, feedback gathering that you. Um, that you and the team did as part of this, what did it influence any of the decisions that you made? And was it effective? Did you get much feedback? Yeah, I think we got some feedback, especially in Form 3.0, uh, when we created a discussion about uh, the new page. The page before that was pretty much hided in under the experimental feature. Maybe we can discuss about this, how we can advertising features in our uh, experimental lab because it's you know really hiding in the in the application. But it was there for a, a few versions. But in Form 3.0, we actually got some feedback, um, some uh, you know we, some issues that uh, were found and some feedback uh, that already some of it already fixed. Uh, in Form 3.0. And um, so, yeah, I think maybe we can discuss about the, how we can more advertising features, you know, in general, in our uh, experimental lab. So, a, to a topic for the community page, maybe. Definitely. Great. Okay, guys. Anything else for Amir while you while you have him? Dirk.
Okie doke. So if there are no further questions for Mar uh, Amir or further comments, um, you can always post, if you think of something later, you can post it to our discourse and uh, Amir will get back to you there. If or if you're watching this recording later on, you can you can um, you can comment or add a post to our discourse. So if there's nothing else, um, if there's if there's nothing else for this session at the top of the hour, so in or I shouldn't uh, Evgeny says I shouldn't say that. So in 15 minutes, um, we will begin another session uh, on the current developments in form and salt with Bastian. And um, if there's if there's nothing until then, we can take a quick break and we will start again in 15 minutes. Thank you very much, Amir. You're welcome. <laughs>